Hello, everybody. This is a video response for Joe for Soft Corners, who did two videos for me this last weekend. Joe, I appreciate you participating in Harvey Haddock's month, which is over now. Very sad. And uh, for um, oh, opening my uh, care package on your channel. Very cool. So you wanted to see some celebration cards because we're celebrating now. Now, I'm born and raised a Mariners fan, and for a long time, we didn't have much to celebrate. In fact, from 1977, it took us all the way to 1991 before there was a winning season. And even after that, things weren't that great for a couple years, even though we had Griffey. In 95, things were, we were kind of hopeful, and then Griffey broke his wrist on this play. The 3-2 pitch on the way. Swing, and it's a fly ball. Right center field and deep. On the run, Diaz and Griffey. Griffey up against the wall, jumps up, and he makes the catch. He crashes into the fence. Griffey leaped right into the wall at the 380 mark, and he made the catch and fell to the warning track. A metal plate and seven screws that bought Griffey, and three months on the DL ended up being about two and a half. By the time he came off the DL, the Angels were 25 over and were running away with the division. The Mariners just kind of hung around 500, a little over 500. And for whatever reason, the wheels came off in California. That's right, the California Angels at the time. And they lost seven in a row. And pretty soon the Mariners were, eh, it seemed like we were kind of within, I don't know, reasonable distance. It was doable, but it would still be hard to do. Mariners kept winning. Angels kept losing. Early September, Angels drop another seven straight. And all of a sudden, we're a couple games back. Pull in front of them. And then they pull back in front of Seattle on the last day of the season, actually tied. And so we go to a one-game playoff. First time the Mariners have ever even sniffed or come close to anything that resembled a playoff. One game at 1 o'clock on a Monday afternoon for some reason. Mariners got home field advantage because of a coin toss. And because of my work schedule at the time, I was able to watch the game. The backstory that's really cool is that Randy Johnson, the Mariners ace at the time, was facing the Angels' Mark Langston, who was traded for Randy Johnson. Things were close through about six innings. As a matter of fact, I think Johnson was perfect through six. And Langston had only given up one, one run through six. And the seventh, the Mariners loaded the bases. And this happened. Now the broken bat. It's fair! Flowers has scored. Chino Martinez has scored. And they all have scored! And here comes so And there's that moment, the celebration moment. Luis Soho driving in four runs on what probably should have been an out. JT Snow did get his glove on it. How often do you see an infield get his glove on a ball in four runs score on the Little League Grand Slam? And there on the ground is Mark Langston, the former great Mariner. And this is absolutely one of my favorite cards that's worth little to nothing. Uh, I got Luis Soho to sign it through a private signing many, many, many years ago. Probably at least 10. And uh, this is, I just picked one card, one moment. And of course the Mariners went on to win that game. Went on to beat the New York American League team and have several more big postseason moments that year. Eventually, it all came to a scratching halt. I'm sure uh, Ranger Studios will be happy to inform you on, on who eventually beat the Mariners. But, Joe, I hope you like uh, the card and the video. And congratulations on 100 videos. Uh, you're, you're a machine, man. Keep it up. Can't wait to see more. Thanks for watching this one. Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers. We count friends.